All right, so welcome to this next question. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit of a long one and it's a little bit confusing, so bear with us anyway. Um, so again, it's gonna be an and or problem, so always bear in mind that and means multiply and or means add when we're talking about probability. So, um, Carly goes to Centra to buy a chicken filler roll every day. She can only afford one topping, mayo or wedges. If she gets wedges one day, there's a 0.3 probability that she will get mayo on her roll the next day. If she gets mayo one day, there is a 0.6 probability that she will get wedges on a roll the next day. If she gets mayo on a roll on Monday, and then there are two questions, okay? So again, she either gets mayo or wedges. If she, get wed if she gets wedges one day, the next day, this is the probability she'll get mayo again. Or if she gets wedges one day, th this is the probability she'll get mayo the next. If she gets mayo one day, this is the probability she'll get wedges the next. Um, so part one, what is the probability that she gets wedges on her roll Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, what is the probability that she gets wedges on a roll exactly three out of the next four days? Okay, so I'll go through this slowly anyway. Um, so we'll start off, we'll go down here, and um, hopefully that's enough. So there's two possibilities. So one, okay, she gets wedges on a row. That means the next, I'll do this again, just a little bit neater. I don't know if it's much needed, but anyway, next day, it's either, so uh, if she gets wedges one day, 0 0.3 probability, she'll get mayo on a roll the next day. So it's 0 0.3 is mayo, and that means 0 0.7 wedges. So what that means, if she gets wedges one day, on the next day, there's 0 0.3 probability, she'll get mayo the next day, and 0 0.7 probability, she'll get wedges the next day. And then option two is she gets mayo on one day and then the next day so this is the way you should break something like this up um if she gets mayo one day there's 0 0.6 that she'll get wedges the next day so 0 0.6 that she will get wedges 0 0.6 and that means 0 0.4 that she'll get mayo okay i'm just going to draw a line between those to separate them um so that will be useful when we are trying to answer these questions. So you should do that out first, blah, blah, blah. And so the reason I know that this is 0 0.7 and this is 0 0.4 is they have to add up to one. Um, yeah, and that's just one of the basic rules of probability. Okay, so now we're gonna look at answering part one of the question. Um, so part one. So she gets, remember she gets mail on Monday um, and what is the probability she gets wedges on, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Okay, so that means it is, so on Tuesday then, she is getting, we'll say, wedges after mayo. That's happening on Tuesday because she gets mayo on Monday, so the probability that she'll uh, get wedges on Tuesday is wedges after mayo, okay? And then on Wednesday, if she wants to get wedges again, then she's getting, I'm just gonna say W-A-W, -W, which means wedges after wedges, okay? So she's getting wedges a few days in a row. And then on Thursday, um, it's again W-A-W. -W, and Friday again, W-A-W. -W. So again, I'll just run through that quickly. So uh, Monday, she gets mayo on a roll. So then Tuesday, the probability that she'll get wedges is um, the probability of wedges after mayo. So if she gets mayo one day, then it's gonna be 0 0.6, okay? Then after that, on Wednesday, the probability of her getting wedges again, it's wedges after wedges. So you have to look at that probability. Then wedges after wedges again on Thursday and wedges after wedges again on Friday. So she keeps getting wedges all four of these days. So if we sub in the numbers then, so um, wedges after mayo, so if she gets mayo and then the next day she gets wedges, that means it's gonna be 0 0.6, all right? So we're gonna have 0 0.6 in this one. And means multiply, so then wedges after wedges. So if she gets wedges one day and wedges the next day, it's gonna be 0 0.7. 0 0.7 multiplied by, again, wedges after wedges, which is 0 0.7, multiply again, which is 0 0.7, okay? You need to stick all of this into your calculator and you're gonna get the probability that she gets wedges on all four of those days. 
uh, stick that into the calculator and you're going to get 0 0.2050 okay and um, so that's the probability she's going to get wedges all four of those days so the next question is what is the probability that she gets wedges on her roll exactly three out of the next four days so yeah this example is going to be a little bit tougher so what is the probability that she gets wedges on her roll exactly three out of the next four days? So I'll scroll down here and make some space. Um, so part two, three out of the next four days. So there's a couple of different possibilities uh, for this. So we're gonna say she gets wedges, 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 and then mayo, or else she gets, so or, just be careful what I say, wedges, wedges, mayo, and then wedges, that's a terrible M, but you get the idea. Um, or she gets wedges, mayo, wedges, wedges, and then there's one more possibility, or mayo, wedges, wedges, wedges. So that is a little bit confusing there, but there are just four different possibilities that she can get three wedges and one mayo. So we have to think about all of those different possibilities. Um, and in each case, it's going to be there's going to be a different probability for the W's and the M's. So in this case here, so remember she, she she's always getting mayo on Monday no matter what. So this W here is going to be W A M. So wedges after mayo. This is going to be W A W wedges after wedges because she gets wedges the day before. This is going to be W A W, and this is going to be M A W mayo after wedges. So again, I'm gonna do the same for each of these. Wedges after mayo, wedges after wedges. It's gonna be mayo after wedges, and then wedges after mayo, okay? So th this is quite confusing. It's just kind of getting a little bit uh, tedious, but you just have to make sure that each one of these probabilities is right. Um, mayo after wedges, wedges after mayo, and wedges after wedges. And then again, this is going to be mayo after mayo, then it's wedges after mayo, then wedges after wedges, and wedges after wedges. Okay, so this is one possibility, this is another, this is another, and this is the um, fourth possibility. So we have to find the probability of each one of these cases and then add them all together because there's an or for each of these. Okay, so I'll do that in yellow. Um, and this is really just about filling in the different, uh, I'll put a square brackets for each of these sort of big ones. Um, so wedges after mayo is gonna be 0 0.6 times wedges after wedges, 0 0.7 times wedges after wedges, so again 0 0.7 times mayo after wedges, 0 0.3. All big square brackets, or the different case scenario, um, and here I'm just gonna fill these in, so it's gonna be 0 0.6 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.6 again. That's my place there. Uh, I'm just gonna drop a line just to make sure there's space, or big square brackets, so now I'm on to this third one, this third different case, um, which is again 0 0.6 times 0 0.3, sorry, those decimal points aren't really showing up that well, times 0 0.6 again, times the last one, wedges after wedges, is 0 0.7. And then plus, mayo after mayo, so 0 0.4, wedges after mayo, which is 0 0.6, and then it's times 0 0.7 and times 0 0.7. So that is just a little bit messy. Um, and I know it's quite long and tedious. Stick that onto your calculator and you're gonna find 0 0.35376. That's the probability that she will get wedges on a roll exactly three out of the next four days. So that example was probably a little bit extra complicated, but I just wanted to show you how complicated they can get and how you have to be really, really careful and just meticulous about how you structure the questions. Don't forget the different cases um, that certain things can happen. Okay, and the reason there is only one case for this first one is because she gets wedges on a roll every single day. There's only one pos There's only one order that can happen and it has to be wedges, 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 wedges. Uh, there's no kind of changing around here where you get WWM, 
www.wmw, etc. Okay, so hopefully that, um, I guess, delivers a message just how complicated it can get. But the main thing to remember is and means multiply and or is adding. Um, but yeah, in the next videos, we're going to start looking at um, Venn diagrams and how they can help us with probability as well. So if you think this video is helpful, then share it with your friends. Uh, we'll see you next time.